AI has been all the rage recently and to be fair the interest in AI is on the decline again and that's probably not for the worst. There were apps popping up left and right, some good, some bad and some just trying to make a quick buck with annoying marketing. You've probably seen those and maybe you've even built an AI app yourself. And if you did then two things just happened. That got a lot cheaper and it also got a lot more fun. Instead of just explaining why I'm so excited about this, let's train a custom GPT model together and also take a look at the results. And to be be honest, I'm not just saying this, I was really pleasantly surprised as to how good the results of our custom model that we're gonna train together right now actually were. A dataset in practice could look something like this. This is my dataset, it's pretty small, we've only got about 80 entries right here. This is rather small for a dataset, but it works for this use case for now because um, we just want to test this out. So the prompt is create an engaging title for this video and basically we are mimicking video ideas basically from my videos and some other videos and then have the actual title as the expected output. And that is what we're gonna send to the large language model to train on. I've got a separate file for this. Now we need to determine the path of where this actually lives. And for me, this is under output title suggest. Let's put that in here and we're gonna call the openai files.create. This is first gonna just create the file and this needs to be an underscore. So once I run in my console, let's run pnpm up load. That's gonna run this file and then we should get a file ID. Awesome. So this actually worked. We have uploaded the file to the OpenAI platform that allows us to custom train the large language model on this file right here. Now let's actually fine tune our model. We can give it a custom name. Let's call this title dash generator and also the training file that we have just uploaded. Gonna paste it in here. That's gonna send an API request to the OpenAI endpoint. Let's save that and then run pnpm run create. That's gonna run this file with a certain node loader and hopefully we will get a 200 response back. Perfect. And after running that we can see the status of our current training. That means the file was sent over successfully, the model is now running and training on our custom data and then in a second when this is done let's look at how the results are, if the titles that it generates are actually good. Okay great news, after just around 10 minutes the LLM has finished training on our custom data. So to try out how good the titles that are generated are actually, let's go ahead into our data set and first off have the exact same prompt as the training data. So that we can always ensure this is the same as the model. We're gonna insert the name of our fine tuning job that was just done. This is just a custom model that we can now always use. As for the content, let's paste in the same from the training set. So it's always the same. And now we can just type in any idea that we have for a YouTube video that we want to make. And it's gonna create a title just like in our training data set. After digging around a bit on the internet to find an idea, I figured that Astro 3.0 is about to release and I think that would be a cool test to run this on. So let's type in a video about the new Astro V3 release and how it affects web development. Let's see what the title generated for that would be. Let's save that, clear or console, and then let's run the file. I'm gonna use some experimental loader to run this and this is gonna be create-completion.ts and if we take a look at the actual file again we can see I'm just logging out the response we get back from our custom model as for the title that it would give this video. Let's run this and see if the title is any good. Should take a minute and then okay Astro's big new release made web dev easier. Hey that's already pretty cool when you consider that the base GPT is actually horrible at generating YouTube titles. Trust me, I know, I've tried it a bunch. This is really cool. Let's try this again and see if it would give it another title that's even better. Let's see this. And we could also increase the temperature to make this even more random if we wanted to. The new Astro V3 changes everything for web development. Let's try it one last time and see the third title it would generate. I really like this. I think this is really cool. It's much, much better than the base GPT model could ever be. And that's why I'm so excited about this um, opportunity to custom train this. Everyone is freaking out about Astro V3. Hey, that could be an actual title that Theo uses for his videos or I for my videos. This is really, really cool. I'm very happy how this worked out. It was a pretty small data set, only about 80 entries in here, all custom trained on some very successful YouTube videos, only successful YouTube videos, by the way. 
uh, but only 80 of them and it worked out so well. I think this has great potential. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit more niche, so thank you especially for watching if you're into this, because I am too. Frankly, I've been pretty annoyed by AI apps as well and their super annoying marketing, because everyone just kind of does the same. But I'm genuinely excited for this opportunity. I think it's really cool. Now, using your custom model is a bit more expensive. I think it's about four times than using the base GPT models, but of course they can do things that the regular GPT just can't, like generating good titles. Let me know what you think of this, comment down below, and then I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.